Hello again everyone, welcome back. So I'm King Blacktooth and today I want to go through a tier list with you. I want to go through all the season one to season now levels and put them into this tier list specifically about whether adding blast balls to those levels would be impactful and fun. And so we saw during the Spartan showdown they added blast balls to things like tiptoe, dizzy height, thin ice and big shots and some of those were really, really fun, great additions into those levels. So I want to just tear through all the levels and see which ones that have the highest impact. Okay, fun, but pretty low impact. And some which would ruin the levels completely. And some that don't make sense. Okay, so I am specifically looking for positive impact though. There's a high percentage that you can add blast balls to levels and it just becomes a trolley mess where everyone's exploding and getting eliminated. And I don't think that's particularly fun. Um, in, a, in a sense, if you wanted to play it for a long time. So, positive impacts, okay? So, first of all, we'll go for, like, Pipe Dream. This is going to be, like, a race level. We put that into fun, but low impact. Specifically, we saw levels like um, Dizzy Heights. This was in the show. And while they were fun to have in there, they didn't actually do much. And so, it is fun to have them. And you'll see a lot of longer race levels, like big fans going in there. Things like Whirly Gig, things like uh, Night Fever. There's probably some other ones around here somewhere that will fit the same thing, Hit Parade. So any long race levels will probably go in here, I think, that could have it, but they won't. They'll just be a little bit of fun. If it gets too competitive, people will just leave them most of the time, I think. Um, Freezy Peak, I think, is one that doesn't work because it's very vertical. A lot of the platforms are very short. And so I just don't think it fits as easily as um, the longer, normal, more basic uh, race levels. So Full Tilt I'd put in there as well. Tundra Run also I'd put in there. Block Party. Block Party is one that has a potential for a high amount of um, griefing. Now, Block Party needs something to make it more interesting. Um, although it does have the different variations. I think experiment with that. If it's too trolley like people just eliminating each other and exploding all the time and it's not as fun it's not very good but i think a little experimentation with block party would be quite good because it is one that needs a little something maybe um hoarders hoarders probably would be a low impact but a little bit of fun maybe you could blow the balls around so maybe that could have okay impact if you wanted to add it there bounce party doesn't make sense fruit shoot Fruit shoot, obviously it makes sense that throwing a, a bomb up and exploding someone would work. It's pretty horrible. I think actually it would ruin the level of fruit shoot. I think it's a simple level and it does what it's supposed to do. I don't think adding bomb blasts on that would actually be very fun. There's going to be loads of people that say, ah, the KBT, it's very, it'd be way, a lot of fun to do it. And I just don't think it would be. Tiptoe, really nice impact, I think. But having it explode and seeing the, seeing, you know, what tiles are real is a really nice addition. So I really do like that one. To go along with that one, I want to just try and find one that I think could have similar aspects are tied to it. And my eyes have, got oh, here it is. DoorDash. I'm going to put that in experimentation because I only want it if it can if you can grab a ball and throw it at a door, it explodes and reveals whether the door's real or not, that would be really good. Otherwise, I just don't see it being very useful. But if you can anticipate what doors are real and false by throwing it into it as you're running, that would be sweet. So experiment with that one. That would be great. Treetop tumble I don't think works because, again, two short platforms, not enough going on there. Same with Lily Leapers doesn't make sense. Not enough time. Egg scramble. I think that would ruin it. It's a mix between experiment and ruin. Now, if you could throw a bomb into the nest and all the eggs go, Bleh, I think that's dangerous. I think that would ruin egg scramble. Um, I don't think that's possible on egg siege per se. So maybe allow it on egg siege um, because they won't all just disappear outside the nest because the nest is quite deep on that one. But maybe it'll like explode the eggs and put them on the shelves and you can run them up a bit better. So I think it would ruin Egg Scramble, but Egg, egg Siege might be okay. Fall Ball needs experimentation if you could blast balls 
Don't think it's going to be massively impactful, though. I think it would ruin Fall Mountain. I think Fall Mountain is about get in front. I don't think people throwing bombs from behind is what people want on Fall Mountain. I like it because it's not as RNG as like that. Seesaw is a dangerous one. Um, I think it's harder to get onto Seesaw uh, than it is to get onto something like Full Tilt or Big Fans. So I'm worried about Seesaw. It would be really super annoying. I don't want to annoy people with this tier list. I just want it to be fun. So I would say maybe experiment with that one, but I'm not sure. I think it probably doesn't make sense. Hexa Ring doesn't make sense. Hexagon doesn't make sense. Hoopsie Legends doesn't make sense. I don't think it needs it. I don't think it adds anything. Oopsie Daisy doesn't make sense. Jinx could probably do a good job with it. I think if someone's running around and you want to throw a ball at them, I think it would be quite fun. Knock people over to help your teammates, possibly. Gives the people that are running away something else to do, possibly. So I think that one could be nice from adding that in. Jump Club, I think it would ruin it. Going through these quite quickly, but Jump Club... Too close a quarters, too much randomness. I don't think that's the point of the level. Same with Jump Showdown. Perfect match. Easy troll level, but again, doesn't need it really, does it? Um, Penguin Pursuit, I think, has a chance of having decent addition. If you put the bombs in there, someone's running around with a penguin, throw the bomb at them. You know, it gives it a bit more of a scramble situation. Um, especially if they're keeping away from you quite well. So I think that could have a decent impact. The question along with that one and Penguin Pursuit is, does it actually, is it better to actually get the bomb or just get the uh, penguin? It's a nice it's a nice thing to try. Rock and roll I don't think makes sense. Gate crash is one of the ones that we've already got and it's fun but low impact. Roll off doesn't make sense. Roll out doesn't make sense. Ah, we're on to our first high impact. I think Royal Fumble makes a ton of sense. You put them on Royal Fumble, someone's running around with the tail. Some people can keep the tail for a long period of time, but if they get a bomb thrown at them, they're going to fall over. So I think Royal Fumble could really use some blast balls to just sort of help knock people over and, and get, the, get the tail. And I think they can be avoided if you've got the camera and watching out where people are throwing them. Ski fall doesn't make sense. Slime climb. Now, people obviously say yes. And a lot of people vote in for, yes, yes, slime climb. I want to kill people. But I think that's not the point of the level. So I think it would ruin slime climb if people are throwing balls and eliminating you. I think what's important for, for the blast balls is that you can't eliminate other players by doing it. All the levels that I put it on, I think, are uh, levels where you can't, be absolutely just eliminated from having a, a bad one. Although there is an example where <laughs> that's not the case that's coming up. Snowy Scrap doesn't make sense. Speed Circuit, I think, goes too quickly. Swiveller goes too quickly. Tail Tag is another high impact. Uh, knocking people over again for tails. And what's really important is that even if it's not as impactful for getting tails, it, it does give something for people to do. People enjoy throwing them around. And Tail Tag, as well as uh, Team Tail Tag, has a big issue with the first minute being pretty boring. So adding blast balls will make it a bit more fun. Thin Ice was really good. I do like uh, the fact that as a finale, the balls can kill a couple of people. You've got to be careful. But as the game goes on, they're less likely to be used because they fall into the drink straight away. We saw that in the one that they already put out. So although a lot of the finales are in Wood Ruin, Thin Ice, I think, gets improved, I think. Track attack, um, I think that goes too quickly. Volley fall doesn't make sense. Um, someone suggested that maybe you throw a bomb to knock the other person over to get a point, but I don't think that's... I think something else needs to be done for that one. Wall guys doesn't make sense. Snowball survival. It's a dangerous one. You can eliminate people. I think experimentation on that one is needed. It gives you something to do while you're avoiding. But do you want to be eliminated by someone throwing a bomb at you? I don't think turning Snowball Survival into Blast Ball is the right choice. And that goes the same with um, the Rhino one, wherever that is. 
stomping ground. There you go. So I think it would be a good addition, but I also don't think turning those into Blast Ball is the right decision. So I wouldn't do that. Basketball doesn't make sense, I don't think. Hoverboard Heroes is the scary one. While it would be quite good, I think it would ruin it because that's not what it's about. Again, you're turning it into people just holding the holding the ball and just exploding people off the platform, which isn't fun if you get exploded off the platform. So I think that would ruin Hoverboard Heroes. Power Trip, I don't think makes sense. You could throw bombs at people to make them drop the stuff, but you might as well just go and grab the battery. Grab people instead of grabbing the balls, I think. Roll on doesn't make sense. Short circuit is too quick. Skyline stumble is fun, I think. Uh, but low impact. Big shots. Now, big shots got improved massively by having it. Which is weird when you're thinking about what I'm saying. Hoverboard heroes and big shots are basically the same thing at the start. Uh, but I'm putting one on Wood Ruin and one on High Impact. Big Shots is a lot of fun. Um, it needed something, and I think those help. Um, I, from what I've I've seen by playing that um, Spartan Showdown, Big Shots, y you can survive. Like it doesn't seem too bad. So it might be the same with Hoverboard Heroes, but I think you know, there's no point putting both of them the same. I'm going to stick with it. Big Shot works. Hoverboard Heroes, I don't think. Hoverboard Heroes is about obstacles, whereas Big Shots is about standing around. So I think that needs it. Perfect Deathmatch. That would ruin it. Again, just like normal. Button Bash just doesn't make sense. Slime Scraper, again, I think would ruin it. It's not about eliminating people into slime, I don't think. If they want to do it on an extreme variation, I'm fine with it. If you want to like it. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Um, if they want to experiment with these on like extreme versions, extra hard mode, then they can. Bubble Trouble doesn't make sense. Lost Temple, I think, just doesn't make sense. It wouldn't ruin it, but it doesn't make sense. You'd just go over walls, which would actually be quite interesting. Some Fruit doesn't make sense. Airtime doesn't make sense. Leading Light, don't think it makes sense. And Party Promenade, probably... Um, trying to remember that one. It's either fun and low impact or doesn't make sense. Depending on how long the uh, the race is, whether you're cut up into loads. I think it doesn't make sense because it's loads of vertical movement and, and grabbing things. I don't think bombs work. So that's my tier list for adding blast balls into other levels. Um, not as many as I thought. Quite a lot of them don't make sense. Um, but I would say the high impact ones would be a lot of fun. We saw one with big shots, which improves it. From like F tier to something like, I don't know, C, B tier or something. Gives you something to do. Um, okay impact. Hoarders don't really care anyway. Tiptoe was good. Jinx could be okay. The penguin ones, uh, thin ice was pretty decent. It's fun for all of these race ones. It would ruin a fair few. I like the experimentation on these. Especially door dash. If you can get rid of the doors, I love it. So do let me know what you think of this tier list, whether you agree, whether you'd move some things up and down. I am certainly aware that a lot of people want to kill people with like Slime Climb and Slime Scraper. But I'm happy with it. If Mediatronic wants to put Blast Balls into those top few, I'd be totally fine with it. I think it was a good experimentation that they did and it proved that Blast Balls are a lot of fun. So um, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you again very soon.